In this painting, you are looking east down the Osage River in Osceola, Missouri. This spot is historic in many ways. It was once the site of Crow's Crossing Ferry in the early 19th century. Before that, it was a spot that Buffalo used to cross the Osage River in their wanderings. Many people do not know that many of the winding highways were once trails, and those trails were blazed by herds of buffalo. Native Americans used these trails to follow the buffalo herds to, uh, essential for their survival. They were later used by the settlers to get from point to point and eventually became the paved highways created in the early 20th century. Those highways were later straightened and are, are our modern highways today. I would like to add that the river was not as high here in those days. Gravel bars were visible here. A dam built in the 1970s raised the water level here. When I was a boy, an adult could wade across the Osage in places with the water being chest high at a maximum. The famous explorer Zebulon Pike came through here on boats heading for the large Osage village between present-day El Dorado Springs, Missouri and Nevada, Missouri. He was delivering three Osage chiefs who had been living in Washington, D.C. temporarily after meeting with the president. On this trip up the Osage, he passed the site of the old Fort Carondelet near present-day Shell City, Missouri. I will do another video on Fort Carondelet site later. A lot of history along the Osage River, both old and new. I'm not sure if uh, everyone knows who Zebulon Pike was, he was the guy who discovered Pike's Peak in Colorado. I just thought I'd pass that on. Today, the Crow's Crossing area is maintained by the Army Corps of Engineers and is used to launch fishing boats during the annual spoonbill or paddlefish fishing season. Here is a photo of me holding a paddlefish. No, I didn't catch it. A guy let me have my picture taken with it. I'm too lazy for paddle fishing. Paddle fishing requires that you cast a heavy weighted line with a large treble hook on it for hours in the hopes you will snag one. I would rather sit around and wait for the fish to snag itself on my baited hook. Snagging is too much work for my taste. I heard once that the spoonbill or paddlefish was only found in two places in the world naturally, the Yangtze River in China and the Osage River in Missouri. Spoonbill are not the only sought after fish in the Osage River. This is a photo of Old Blue, a former world record blue catfish, which now hangs in the city hall in Osceola, Missouri. The record held for many years and was only recently broken. The darker water in the foreground of my painting is an inlet that leads to a small lake on the left side of the painting. Some of my distant cousins used to own some cabins around the small lake, which they rented out to fishermen and tourists. They also rented boats and outboard motors as well. My dad, a cousin, my brother and I once went on a fishing trip from here on the Osage back in the early 1960s. The old arched Highway 13 bridge used to cross the Osage here back in the day. It was torn down in the 1970s to make way for two large two-lane bridges and the Truman Lake Dam 35 miles away in Warsaw, Missouri. The time of day in this painting, by the way, is late afternoon or early evening. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching.